These Asian flavored ground turkey bowls can be a great meal to help you achieve your weight loss goals. They have 40 grams of protein, are relatively high in volume, and have less than 500 calories. This recipe is one of my go-tos when I don't feel like cooking, but I still need to get my meal prep done for the week because it only takes around 30 minutes to cook. Let me show you how to make them. So you can see just how quick this one is. Here's my starting time at 5.37 p.m. First things first, get some rice going. You'll need two and a half cups or 375 grams of cooked rice for the final meals, which will be anywhere between one and two cups of dry rice, depending on what kind of rice you use and how you prepare it. Rinse the rice till the water runs clear and then get it going in the rice cooker or the pot and move on with the rest of your prep. Now you can prepare all of the vegetables. In this recipe, you're gonna need some carrots, green pepper, a sweet onion, and mushrooms. I don't like to cut carrots, so I use pre-shredded ones for ease. You'll need two cups or 200 grams of the carrots, so you can measure those out and place them into a bowl. Then you can wash your peppers and mushrooms to prepare for cutting. I've always just rinsed my mushrooms under the faucet to clean them and nothing bad has ever happened. The global elites have brainwashed the populace into believing that you can't do this, but I'm here to tell you that you can. If you expect me to sit here and pet the mushrooms with a damp paper towel to clean the dirt off of them, you are a crazy person. This recipe calls for 200 grams of green peppers, which is one large sized green pepper or two smaller ones. Cut the pepper into a large dice. My favorite way to cut bell peppers is to turn them upside down, cut around the seed capsule, slice into strips, and then finish up with the dice. Next, cut one medium sweet onion or 200 grams worth into a large dice to match the size of the peppers. Cut off the stem and the root, halve the onion, and then cut into the dice. For the mushrooms, you'll need eight ounces or 227 grams of white or baby bella mushrooms. You can cut these into a large or small dice, whatever you prefer. If you aren't a fan of mushrooms, cutting them smaller will help them cook down to be almost unnoticeable. Now let's get to cooking. In a large skillet over medium high heat, add one tablespoon or 15 grams of oil. Throw in the peppers and onions, as well as one tablespoon or 15 grams of minced garlic. It takes me way longer than I care to admit to peel garlic, so I'm cheating and using the jarred stuff today. Give the pan a light sprinkling of salt and stir it around. You could also toss in the carrots at this step, but I'm leaving them separate for aesthetic purposes in the final dish. I would add them if I were you. I'm gonna move this pan back to the stove so that I can cook the turkey on camera while the vegetables are finishing up. These are just gonna cook for a few minutes until they have softened and browned. For the turkey, heat a large skillet over medium high heat and toss in one tablespoon or 15 grams of oil. Add two pounds or 908 grams of 93.7 turkey and spread it across the skillet in an even layer. Season lightly with salt and pepper and allow it to brown for a few minutes. The peppers and onions are done by this point so I can remove them from the heat and set them aside until it is time to plate. Once the underside of the turkey has had the chance to brown up, you can break it up or flip it to the other side. When the turkey is about 50% of the way cooked, add in the mushrooms and allow them to cook down in the skillet with the meat. Give it five minutes or so over the heat and once no pink remains in the turkey and the mushrooms have finished cooking, you can make your sauce. To the skillet, add in three tablespoons or 45 grams of soy sauce, two teaspoons or 10 grams of sriracha, one tablespoon or 21 grams of honey, one teaspoon or five grams of sesame oil, and a half of a teaspoon or two grams of ground ginger. Stir to mix the ingredients into the meat and combine. Give the turkey a taste test and season with salt and pepper as needed. The cooking is now done. All that is left is to plate it up and it's been 28 minutes. This recipe makes five servings, so lay out five of your meal prep containers and to each container add a half of a cup or 75 grams of the cooked rice. As I mentioned at the beginning, this meal could be favorable for weight loss for many people because it's relatively low in calories. If that's not what you're looking for and you want to add some more calories, I would just double the rice. Next, divide the meat mixture evenly into each of the containers. You can go spoonful by spoonful, or if you want it to be completely precise, weigh and measure each portion. Lastly, you can divide the carrots, peppers, and onions. I'm putting the carrots into the containers raw as these will get cooked by the microwave and still maintain some of their texture. Just like I had said earlier, cooking them with the other vegetables is a good option to do as well. I like to top each dish with some more sriracha for flavor and heat, but that isn't a requirement. Now that we are cooked, plated, and finished, it is 616 and that took 39 minutes altogether. I also realized I should have added some sesame seeds to make it more visually appealing. Again, not a requirement. You should be able to finish this one even faster than me as I had to do things on camera, so you'll be able to double up on cooking time with things on the stove. Each of these Asian flavored ground turkey bowls has about 484 calories and 40 grams of protein. The mushrooms, carrots, peppers, and onions help to boost volume in this meal while keeping the caloric load down and the fiber and protein content can help you stay full while trying to sustain a caloric deficit. Once the meals have cooled down a bit and are no longer steaming, pop on the lids and move the meals into the fridge. They'll last for up to five days in the refrigerator or you could freeze them. Meal prep is a great way to help you maintain a dietary strategy when trying to achieve weight loss. Having pre-portioned meals in the fridge where you know the nutritional load makes tracking easier and is wonderfully convenient when it comes to quick access to food. The full written version of the recipe for these Asian flavored ground turkey bowls is linked in the description of this video below. If you need a quick meal to just get the job done this week, this is the recipe for you.